came from the trap, I grew up in the bando, got a rock to a brick, fucking fat hoes. It's your dad, Wolfie, here. It's another vocal tutorial on how to get it. Vocals like Quavo. Greetings Offspring, it is your parental unit here. So I did a video a few days ago where I had Quavo do some guest vocals on this Cardi B song and I got so many fucking comments for you guys asking me to do a Quavo vocal tutorial. So today I am going to be showing you exactly how you can get your vocals just like Quavo. I'm doing this tutorial on Logic but this also works for FL, able to anything pretty much. You just got to do a little bit extra work to find the plugin. I have the last song open, I'm just going to play for you one time so you can see what it sounds like. Yeah, I go a mile a minute. I got ten bitches that's kicking. Cardi B up the track. Ari is looking so fat and dead way. Just kidding, he looking thick. As you can see, the Quavo sound that we're going for is just the auto tune and reverb, which he does in a lot of his songs. Sometimes Quavo just does his vocals with no effects, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna do the cool Quavo voice with effects. This is actually gonna be a very simple tutorial. It's a quick trick that pretty much anyone can do to automatically make their vocals sound really cool. I'm gonna break it down in three main components. One, auto tune. Two, reverb. Three, Flow. So let's listen to the raw vocals without the Quavo effect on them. They're still mixed, but without the auto tune and shit. I go a mile a minute. I got ten bitches that's kicking. Skr, skr. Cardi B on the track. Skr, skr. Ari is uh, okay. I think we've heard all we need to hear. I think it's safe to say that. Thank God for the Quavo effect. So all you have to do to get the Quavo effect is find. Step one: find an auto tune plugin on Logic. What you can do is go over to Pitch. Pitch correction, click it. This is the auto tune instrument. Wow, so sexy and beautiful. Response time, fast. Okay, that makes the, the like a harder auto tune actually effect. Um, figure out what key you're in. I know I'm in uh, E minor, so I'm gonna go to the minor, the natural minor scale. Click E. And if you don't know what scale you're in, you you honestly don't even have to do that. I just do that because it helps a little bit. But if you don't know what scale you're in, you can just go to uh, user scale or chromatic. Um, and th that'll be for anything. And it'll still give you that same effect. So you really don't need to know much. Okay, let's check out just the vocals with um, the autotune, but no reverb yet. Quavo! Yeah! Okay, so you can already tell it's sounding like way sicker, like way more clean and shit. Now, all you're gonna do is add a reverb. So for my main vocal track, I always run it through the reverb through a bus. That way it doesn't take too much space and you can control it a little better. How to do that? Go down here, this little area, click on one of these, I already have bus five up there, but just click any of these empty little uh, cells. Go to bus and just pick an empty one. So let's pick bus 10, okay? It's gonna pop up right here, B10, just like that. Scroll down, title it Quavo Verb. Stands for Quavo Reverb. Um, now the reverb that I'm gonna use is a space designer. Ba ba ba, pull that shit up. You go down here. So for this, we're either gonna use a large or medium spaces because Quavo does have like a big sound. We don't want no like bullshit, like warped effects. Like what the fuck is that bullshit? So I'm gonna go over to medium space, plate reverb, I like either soft plate or ice plate. I usually use like one of these two. Um, so, and then make sure you turn on your bus, like the level. So however much you turn this is however much reverb is gonna affect your main track. So let's check it out. Quavo! Yeah. That's about a solid that's about a solid amount of reverb that I want to use actually. I think I'll keep it around here. So for you guys not using logic, pretty much all you have to do is just find a reverb and put it on your track. You don't have to bust it. It's very simple. Just find a reverb. The last and most important step of how to have a sexy Quavo flow is the flow. Quavo's voice has a lot of like eh to it. I'm like that too, to where my voice is kind of nasally, so it's just like eh, 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 eh. It's like very crackly. See, that was a very sexy example that I just did. Very accurate. So make your voice nasally and like emphasize your eh sound. I, I go a mile a minute. I got a vanilla kick it. I came from a bando. 
from a rock to a brick. If you're Quavos, make sure you say shit like, skr skr, that way, Quavo! Like, you gotta yell it like you're in pain, Quavo! Like, uh, Quavo! Pew, pew, pew. Very helpful advice, shut the fuck up. Now we got our Quavo lyrics, let's listen to him. I go one mile a minute, I got 10 bitches that's kicking. Cardi B on the track. Boom, fucking sexy. Do all that shit, and your final mix will sound a little something like this. So there you have it guys, the Daddy Wolfie exclusive guide on how to sound like motherfucking Quavo. If in the future you guys want an in-depth vocal mixing tutorial on how to just get crisp, clean, sexy ass vocals, make sure you comment below, say Poppy Wolfie. That will be the comment to let me know you guys want a vocal tutorial. You can't comment and be like, hey, put a, do a regular vocal tutorial. No, no, shut the fuck up, I won't listen. You must comment Poppy Wolfie. That is what you must comment, Poppy Wolfie equals do a regular vocal mixing tutorial. That's how you communicate, that's how we talk. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Love you guys, bye.